With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello dear students, here the question is a brass wire 1.8 meter long at 27 degree Celsius is held taut with negligible tension between the two rigid supports. Diameter of the wire is 2 mm. If the coefficient of linear expansion is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per degree centigrade and Young's modulus of the brass is 9 into 10 raised to the power 11 Newton per meter square. If the wire is cooled to a temperature of minus 39 degree Celsius then tension developed in the wire is. So here according to the question the length of the brass wire is 1.8 meter initial temperature is 27 degree Celsius and diameter of the wire is 2 mm it means its radius is diameter divided by 2 that is 2 mm divided by 2 which will be equal to 1 mm that is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter. Similarly coefficient of linear expansion alpha is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per degree centigrade and the value of Yang's modulus of material of wire is 9 into 10 raised to the power 10 Newton per meter square and the change in temperature is theta 2 and it is cool to a temperature of theta 2 is minus 39 degree centigrade. So here del theta is theta 1 minus of minus theta 1 minus theta 2 which will be equal to 27 degree centigrade minus minus it will be plus 39 degree centigrade which will be equal to 66 degree centigrade this will be the total change in temperature now we know that the value of Yang's modulus is calculated by the formula stress divided by strain and here stress will be equal to force divided by area and strain will be equal to change in length divided by original length and here the thermal strain produced del L upon L will be equal to alpha into change in temperature. So here putting this value we get y is equal to f upon a alpha del theta therefore thermal force f will be equal to y a alpha into del theta. Now putting respective values here the value of thermal force produced F will be equal to and this thermal force is nothing but tension developed in the wire which will be equal to the value of Y is 9 into 10 raised to the power 10 into the value of area is calculated by the formula pi r square so pi into r square is nothing but 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 bracket square into the value of alpha that is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 into del theta the value of del theta is 66. Now on solving this we get f will be equal to 3.7 into 10 raised to the power 2 Newton and this force is nothing but tension developed in the wire so T will be equal to 3.7 into 10 raised to the power 2 Newton. So here correct answer for our question will be option number 2. Thank you.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.